They were beaten, they were stabbed, they were kicked, they were their necks were slit, and they were still alive, they were slowly bleeding to death, and they were scalded alive. I said, that's cruelty, I will admit. But I also said something to the effect of, it's a slaughterhouse, and they're going to die anyway. And people got offended by it. They're like, that's the most ignorant thing I've ever heard in my life. You're a fat fuck. I hope you choke on chicken bones and burn in hell. I bet if Satan held a, held a hurt hamburger in front of your face, I bet you would sell your soul for it. I will admit, what I said was probably ignorant, but guess what? It's also a fact of life, people. Things die. Okay? People raise and kill chickens so that they can... So that they can feed their families. It's a fact of life. If you don't like it, fucking deal with it. Okay? Don't shove your beliefs down their throats just because you don't agree with what they eat. But I will admit, perhaps what I said was ignorant, but it's also the truth. It's a fact of life, people. I think Penn and Teller said it best when they said, Life is not Disney bullshit. Animals don't dance around. They're not happy all the time. They don't sing songs out of nowhere like PETA wants them to do. And uh, what pisses me off about this is that PETA is now demonizing farmers who slaughter their own cows and cattle and pigs and such and say that they're evil. They're not evil. I know this from experience. My uncle was a farmer. He still is. When he wanted to feed his family, he took a pig out and he killed it. Humanely. Not slitting its throat and wait till it bleeds to death. He didn't throw a cinder block on it and hope it would die. He didn't he didn't hoist it up from a chain and drop it from a high level. You know what he did? So the pig wouldn't suffer and bleed to death? He just shot it in the head. He just pulled out his gun and shot it in the head. He wasn't proud of the fact. He wasn't proud of the fact. And he wasn't happy about it. He was sad for the pig, but he knew that he had to feed his family. He wanted to feed his family. Does that make him an evil person? Does that make him a bad person? Fuck no, it doesn't. I love my uncle with all my heart. And I was 12 at the time when I saw him shoot that pig. And I was a little bit sad, I will admit. I was a little bit sad, but I didn't go, Oh, you bastard, you killed Wilbur! Because I know that it's a fact of life. Things die. You know? And KFC isn't the only slaughterhouse that abuses their chickens. And not all slaughterhouses abuse their chickens. Okay? First of all... <clears throat> I made a point in my rant, why are they only attacking KFC when so many other places serve chicken and there are so many other slaughterhouses out there? And I said, you have to admit, this is kind of logical, because KFC is a multi-billion dollar organization. And therefore, if they sued and, and filed civil suits against KFC, they would get a shitload of money. Think about this for a second. If you were, if you were a big time cult, oh I'm sorry, I mean organization, against killing animals, where would you rather go after? Some run-of-the-mill slaughterhouse that sends chickens to run-of-the-mill um, restaurants? Or big-ass multi-billion dollar or, uh, chicken or chicken restaurant franchise? Hmm, I'd say you go with the multi-billion dollar chicken franchise. And, uh, finally... Excuse me, I have a piece of hair in my mouth for some reason. And finally, people say, I'm a, f finally, what I don't really understand is that if these people hate my movie so much, why the fuck are they watching them? I swear to God, I've had the same person reply to each and every one of my rants. Here, here, I'm, uh, let's see, I'm gonna, up, I'm gonna go to my rants right now, and, uh, of course I won't say his name, but... I had a, and I swear, every rant that I had, he says something about it. He says something like, oh, you're a fag, or, um, uh, or you're an idiot, or you suck, and I'm thinking, if you don't like it, dipshit, why are you watching it? Here, I'm on my things are over that are overrated rant, and he has the great, and he thought it was completely smart and original to say, you know what's overrated? Your rats. Oh, that's really fucking original, you thimble dick. So you know what I replied? I said, you know what's ugly? Your face. I know it sounds stupid, but what he said was stupid. And I retaliated with a stupid comment. My point is, 
if he doesn't like it, why is re he, why is he responding to it? That secretly says, oh, I like your rant, but I'm just going to bitch about it anyway. But you gotta think, oh yeah, that's really original, taking the subject of my rant and putting it against me. And, uh, let's see what else, uh, Animal Cruelty Rant, my first one. He says, oh wait, he didn't reply in that one. Um, I'm trying to think of another rant that he had, uh, um, oh yeah, Animal Cruelty Rant, my bad, he did reply. He said, um, oh, I agree with you, if you weren't such a fag. And finally, in my Kentucky Fried Cruelty rant, where thousands of people with below, not thousands, where a lot of people with below average IQs decided to make fun of me because I had a different opinion than them, even though there's such thing as, even though there's such a thing called free speech, and it's protected by none other than the Constitution. Crazy shit, isn't it? Um, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, Uh, some people saying that I'm ignorant, that I need to die, that I, that they hope I choke on a chicken bone. Some people say I need to take do some research. They're saying I'm ignorant. Well, let me put it this way: if I'm ignorant, the people calling me fags, cocksucker, um, a fat piece of shit must be really big rational thinkers. Yeah. But thankfully. There are some people who do have rational thought, and I'm going to mention them right here. Um, Gadoon, which is spelled G-A-A-D-D-O-O-N-N. -N. I want to thank you for your responses. I want to thank you for being one of the only people who do take this as a joke. In fact, I was thinking of putting... In fact, I was thinking of putting at the beginning of my rant something that goes along of warning... These rants aren't to be taken seriously. If you take them seriously, it's your fault and you should have your head examined. And, uh, oh, um, uh, Jake the Deadly, I want to thank you for subscribing to my videos. I want to thank you for being one of the, another one of the only people who actually do think my videos are funny. And, uh, let's see. And... Jettos 86, you're a really cool person.